spoke about this this morning <clears throat> about America. America basically on the road to communism. And it's primarily because m most of Americans are socialists, despite pretending to be capitalists and, and wanting a free market. Overwhelmingly, especially in the cities, most, most cities are socialist cities. And so as a result, this is what you see. You see the Federal Reserve giving a private entity basically your money. They print your money, right? as you can see, BlackRock buying houses. And where do they get this money? From the Federal Reserve. Fed hires BlackRock to help calm markets. And you even have the Federal Reserve chairman invested in BlackRock, right? So he is the chairman of the Federal Reserve. He is responsible for the monetary policy and where the money goes. And so the Fed gives the federal reserve gives these people basically your money i shouldn't even say your money what they're giving them is your labor this is why i refer to this this is just literally just slavery is because you then have to pay back the money that they utilize and so in essence they pull money from the future right and they print it to now they buy assets now as prices are in, as prices are inflating because of the monetary policy and so they basically pay more money than many of the small individuals who are able to pay and they push them out of the market. And this is primarily how you see America literally on the road to communism. And of course, as a result, you see this is from a day ago, U.S. Supreme Court urged by 22 states to maintain eviction ban. And so the moratoriums are being dragged down and the purpose of this is to squeeze the small small single family owners overwhelmingly most of the housing is owned by small in essence mom and pop individuals people who have worked and maybe bought one or two houses and they utilize them for rent they utilize them for help and helping them in their retirement and so many of these individuals are being squeezed out deliberately by the government which is why you see stuff like this, right? U.S. tenants, and this is probably here in a major city in New York. It says, tenants demand extension, a state eviction moratorium set to expire. And this is, again, from the end of April, right here in Manhattan. And so this is what you see. This is what you see. The, the people in America have become socialists, right? Give me free rent. I don't, I don't want to pay rent. Uh, I can't go to work. I'm going to get sick. Give me free money. I can't afford health care. Give me free health care. Um, I can't afford retirement. Give me Social Security. Right. And so and America has long been down this road of socialism and has continued to expand many of these socialistic practices. And the end is communism. And that's basically where <clears throat> this basically where America is at right now, which is why you see stuff like this, where you see private companies literally being given your money by your federal chairman and the end result is that it turns into it turns into communism and this is basically the sad part is you have many hispanic people from cuba honduras uh maybe even places like colombia etc uh and from many different european countries who have fled communism even till this, even to this very moment you see many of these people who are being invited into the country right now just to realize that america is also a communistic socialistic uh, environment that they're basically walking into i mean realistically when you actually look at some of the articles during the pandemic they were all talking about how america was going to have this baby boom you know during the lockdowns and of course that didn't happen if anything Quite the opposite. The uh, the birth rate even went lower during the lockdowns, and so that's why you see them inviting so many Hispanics into the country, is because they were hoping that Americans were going to have kids so that they can help to keep up with their numbers. And the reality is that that didn't happen. And so the natural result is to drag in 
you know, people from other countries who do have kids, right? Hispanics typically have more kids, especially when you compare to white Americans. White Americans are basically, and white people in general, are basically uh, because of their culture, because of the culture of socialism and wokeism, and of course, because of the government not wanting men and women to be together. You see everything related to everything related to togetherness, right? Between cultures, races, uh, religion, which is why you see so much. There's no such thing as male and female, right? It's it's he, him, they, them, all that, all that, all that nonsense. And so it's because anything that anything that will put people together, the government via communism is deliberately breaking apart. And it's for the purpose of segregating individuals, for the purpose of controlling individual groups. Like, for example, women. This was the original via things like womanism, the womanist movement. And it's to separate men and women, even to the point now where, of course, you see the government taking very much exclusive control over even children, i.e. via the jab, saying that you can't, you don't even have the option to say no. And this is all what you see in communistic style governments. This is always the route that it goes. And of course, in America will experience it in a very unusual and harsh way. Many people aren't ready for what's going to come. That's why I said in, in many videos that the window to escape America will eventually close. And that's why I say if you're a skilled man, and, you're, and especially if you're single, and you have a skill... You should be considering what country you want to flee to because the window of opportunity to be able to leave is closing and many, may, many other countries may not be willing to accept you. You see it right now where certain places have certain things in uh, certain bands in place where people won't take individuals from certain countries. And it may be harder to leave to more favorable areas than what will happen here. As of course, like in all areas where communism takes cold, starvation is not very far behind.